Hey guys, Viz here. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how I do a Raxor on the minion path consistently at 300% in Rage. Minion path for the longest time was my least favorite path, but that has changed due to the strategy I use in this video. I'm hoping by sharing my strategy for minion path, it might help others who are either looking to improve their strategy or learn how to do a Raxor on this particular path. For starters, I only do minion path when darkness path is blocked. The reason for this is that Araxi in phase 4 will prioritize the acid over calling in minions, making it generally safer for my strategy to work without unintentionally, you know, deleting myself. <gasps> Unfortunately, when acid is blocked, Araxi will prioritize the minions over the darkness special attack. Let's now have a look at the gear. I'd like to state that some of my gear has recently been upgraded. You do not need this exact gear to be able to consistently do 300% Enrage Araxor on this path. I also maintain the nope 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 perk at my player owned farm to do extra damage against spiders. Okay, so I'm just about to start my hour of Araxi. I am charging up my adrenaline urn on the crystal before commencing. Alright, so I'm starting my instance here because I don't have a fair amount in my inventory and I'm going to the top path. As you can see here, Araxi is on 300% in rage and darkness is blocked. Prayer, potions, and now I'm going to be using the Serene Godbow special into a snapshot followed by a rapid fire. Now, if you're not as confident as I am after doing this so long, I would suggest rather than rapid fire, doing anticipation. I typically do two moves and then anticipate and then go into the attack if I'm feeling a little bit cautious. However, if you are confident that you can anticipate a cocoon coming, and get freedom off in time, you can go rapid fire and just sit next to the web. So this is pretty straightforward after those three initial attacks and then just start counting every cocoon it's four attacks and then it'll be another special attack, everything else is five. Now if you get pulled in, you just click away very very quickly and you're fine. So the swipes are really easy to avoid. The cocoons are the main one you want to avoid, especially at high and rage because the damage is quite considerable. And then I'm basically just stalling it until I can open up phase two where I want to have 100% adrenaline to open up with a death swiftness. So the first 30 adrenaline I either use limitless into a snapshot and then a rapid fire or I use the serene god bow special while in death swiftness as I know that the next special attack is going to be the eggs. It's not always the case but it's a fairly good uh, chunk of the time that'll be the eggs and then it'll be the first wave of spiders. So I try to do as much damage as possible with Death Swiftness before the first spider wave. I kill the Mirrorback Spider and then I hightail it to phase 3 to phase the boss. Now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Rather than fighting Araxi in the main area of phase 3, I come back to the bridge. So those other spiders will be trailing behind. At this point I can do another Serene God Bow special and I'm just constantly using Ricochet as well as Corruption and Bleeds while monitoring how quick the waves are coming. So the moment I see the spider animation, I want to start prioritizing the spiders over Araxi. And focus at support spider. So there is the Mirrorback, I'm going to kill that. Once the Mirrorback is dead, I can then go back to Araxi, continuing to use Greater Ricochet, or just regular Ricochet, as well as Corruption Shot. Now most of the time I'm focusing on the boss, the minions are a secondary issue. They will just disperse. Now I got a little bit lucky here that the third spider was a pulsing as there was a bleed on the boss. However, a little bit of damage here is not a big deal. As you can see, I haven't used anything yet. Now there are eggs, so good thing about eggs is if you're close to the eggs and you've got melee spiders on you, which is damaging as range, the explosion on the eggs will kill the melee spiders. Once the third support spider is dead, I will wipe out the boss and phase him into phase 4. 
Okay, I start this one by adding my Scrimshaw and my Ring of Vigor. I activate the Scrimshaw, I then do a, an Anticipate into a Death Swiftness and then swap back to my Ring of Death and use my Adrenaline Potion so that I can start the fight with a Serene Godbow Special. At this point I'm just trying to build up about 30% Adrenaline where I'll use Limitless and then use Snapshot into Rapid Fire while flicking my prayers and those are my three moves that I use, there's nothing else. Everything else is entirely automated and that will wipe out the boss. It usually will come down to the rapid fire finishing off the boss, but sometimes it might take another dazing shot and even in some scenarios an additional ricochet just to finish off the last remainder of health. This is particularly the case if I forget to activate the scrimshaw, which happens quite a bit. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.